Hello. Quick video today, I'm going to show you about the Logic Net Send and Net Receive plugins that are built into Logic and that are very, very useful indeed. So we're going to have a quick look at those, show you how they work, why you'd even use them, and so on and so forth. So stop. In this project, there are two tracks. I've got a receive track and a send track. The send track has the AU Net Send plugin on it, and the receive track will have the AU Net Receive plugin on it. But first, I need to do a bit of housekeeping. Sorry about the popping. I've lost my mic the other day. I say I lost it. It died, um, and I need to buy another one. So I'm using a temporary one with a bad pop shield on it. So please excuse the plosives. So the housekeeping is that if you are coming to this video and you're completely sighted, you may wonder what all the weird gabbling in the background is. I have included voiceover in this video for my blind followers, which includes myself, so that my students and other people listening to this video that might want to know exactly what's going on will be able to follow along. So with that in mind, I have to hit this button on the mixer. There we go. Speech from now on will be included in this video. So let's make a start of it. What have we got and why have we got it? There are two tracks and on track two, Tra track two send is the send track. And if I look in the mixer for the send track and I show you why there's a plugin on it called a unit send, we can discuss it. Mixer layer in send setting gain off chat input insert or net send group. There it is, a unit send. And the reason I did it that way instead of just pulling out the plugin window quickly with a hotkey, which I do have, is to show you where to find this plugin if you want to use it yourself. So let's go in and do that. In or net list button, menu, dash audio units sub menu. I went up one instead of down one. Make sure that quick nav is off when you do this, otherwise you'll be here all weekend. Up to AU plugins. Audio units, submenu, air music technology, submenu. Down to Apple. Dash Apple, submenu. Apple, submenu, or band pass, submenu. And there's a lot of things in here, so I'm just going to go down quickly until we hear dash AU net send. Audio, or, or, or graphic, or hush, or hippus, or low pa, or low share, or matrix, or multi AU and dash, or net send, submenu. And there we are. Or net send, submenu tick, stereo. And stereo. List button. Now the plugin is open, although it's not in front of me for some reason. List it's button. It's not going to show its face, so I will do the key to bring it up. If it were empty and this had not been loaded previously, then it would be in front of me at this time. Disconnect button. Send. Send dialog. Send. So when you initiate this plugin, it comes up immediately with a disconnect. Now I warn you, this is better when in the editor view. I don't even think this has a control view. Let's have a quick look. Set to comp view link status link view menu button. Oh, it does. It, it has a controls view and a not controls view, but menu tick a control tick apples or net send view. It's better in this net send view instead of in controls view because a lot of uh, logic users, blind users, have it come up in controls view by default. I find it's easier to control in the uh, non controls view. So, just a word of warning if you see it looking differently than mine is right now. Okay. View. So, the first thing we come to link unticked status not connected disconnect button is this disconnected. And even though it says not connected disconnect, that's a little bit misleading. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Let's go forward a bit further. Data format. 24-bit integer PCM, pop-up button. By default, it comes up as 16-bit. Let's have a quick look at these menu options and explore them. Oh my God, these plosives are going to kill me. Menu tick. Okay. 16-bit integer PCM, 24-bit Apple lossless, 16-bit Apple lossless, law, IMA4, 1, AAC 128 kilobits per second per channel, AAC 96 kilobits per second per channel, AAC 80 kilobits per second per channel, AAC 64 kilobits per second per channel, AAC 48 kilobits per second per channel, AAC 40 kilobits per second per channel, AAC 32 kilobits per second per channel, AAC low delay 64 kilobits per second per channel. Interesting, there's a low delay option in here. I don't know how it differs from the other one, because when you see in a minute how not latent this thing is, particularly if you're sending between the same computer, uh, it's interesting. AAC, 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 anyway, there's lots of options in here. I thought I could go through all of them, but I've not actually looked at all these before. So if you're seeing on the screen, you can see tons. And if you're not, well, explore this part of the plugin on your own and you'll be kind of here for a while. So anyway, I've said it's 24-bit PCM and that's all right. I'll press escape now because I don't want to be here all week. 24-bit integer PCM. Pop I set it to 24-bit because that's what the file on the track is. It's 24-bit 48 kilohertz. And that's important because um, I wanted it to match the incoming file. Not that it matters necessarily, but I thought it might as well. You can also do 32-bit float. Port 52,800. I didn't change edit that. I left that port alone because it seemed fine. New line. Options. Bonjour name. This Mac. Content selected. Edit text. So by default, it will be called AU Net Send. And this is probably what you want to change because if you don't, and this is assuming that you're going to be picking up from multiple Macs on the same network, uh, it will just be all AU Net Send for every single Mac in the list. And when you see the list in a minute, when we go to Net Receive, 
that can be a little bit disconcerting. So I've called this one, this Mac, as in this is the Mac I'm sending to, uh, yeah, sending from and receiving on at the same time. When we get to NetReceive, um, you will see other things um, which do not say that. So that's all right. We can close this window now. So I will just do Command W. Mixer. And get out of there. Okay, let's go up to the, res the other track. Actually, let's go to the mixer and show you where that is as well. Oh, Oop, Untitled Logics, Untitled. Let me just say a word or two. That is an audio track, okay? You can put the NetSend plugin on the stereo bus or on an audio track. You cannot put the NetSend on a MIDI track, to my knowledge. I don't think you can. Um, and the reason for using this plugin, which I haven't really explained, but of course it's in the video description as well, is so that you can send audio um, to be modified or manipulated by MIDI plugins. For example, if you want to do automation on a MIDI track, and it's an audio track in the beginning, you can send your audio to this MIDI track on the same Mac and do it that way. What I used to do uh, prior to last week when someone told me about this plugin that's built into Logic and has been forever, and I wish I'd known what they were for. I saw them, but I didn't twig. Anyway, was I was using Sonobus, and I would put Sonobus on a MIDI track, and I would tell the sidechain to listen to an audio track. But that means that you have to have Sonobus installed previously, and some people may not, some people may. Before Sonobus, I was using Polyverse Manipulator because it doesn't color the sound in a way that I don't like. Um, and that is a paid plugin, so that wasn't going to work either. And I've been wondering how to do this for the very, very longest time, and now I know. And in a minute, so will you. So here's this audio. I'll play it for you, and then I'll stop it. Four beats, nine. It's what we heard when we started the video. All right? Two bar. I'm now going to mute this track with M. Total channel strip mute on. Two bars, three beats. And now I'm going to leave the cycle, the, the transport running. It's in cycle mode. We can't hear it, but it's playing. And if you can see the screen, you'll see the transport is moving. So let's go to track one now, which is called receive. And we will load the net receive plugin on this channel strip. Mixer, layer in mixer, in send, channel out, receive, channel Sorry, strip. About that. Go here. In receive, set game off, MIDI plugin button. Inst button. So we'll go to inst. I've set up a software MIDI instrument track with command option S. And I'll go to the inst button now. Menu tick, no plugin. Now, because I've loaded this plugin before, it's in my list of 10 recent plugins, but we're going to assume that we're doing it fresh, and so it isn't. Or MIDI controlled effects, submenu. Or instruments, submenu. Or generators, submenu. AU generators. It sounds like all generators with this particular speech. But we want AU generators, and we'll press right arrow. Or generators, submenu, Apple, submenu. And right again. Apple, submenu, or audio file player, submenu. And now we're looking for AU net receive. Or net receive, submenu. There it is. Or net receive, submenu, mono. Stereo. Stereo. Receive, receive, dialog. So earlier I told you that, well, I showed you, in fact, that we have a net receive, um, sorry, a net send on this Mac. And so I can pick it up on this Mac as well. Once again, I do recommend you put this into the Apple Cocoa view or whatever it's called, not controls view. That is important. Let's have a quick look around this dialog. Bypass, manual, compare, view, link, and status, not connected, connect button. Okay, so there's another not connected and a connect button. Sounds a bit familiar, doesn't it? This plugin looks a little bit like the other one, but it has a bit of a difference. Okay, let's carry on. Sender, directory, table, row one of three, available image, microphone on second Mac, selected. Ah, so here is a bit about what I've been doing. There are three Macs playing um, audio using the NetSend plugin right now. I've got two other Macs running Logic. One of them just has a microphone and one of them is playing a track. And if I, you can interact with this table or you can simply highlight it and with quick nav off, you can just press the down arrow and we're going to do it that way. Available image, this Mac. That's this Mac that we're on right now. And again, down arrow. Available image, currently playing Cul-de-Sac. Currently playing Cul-de-Sac. cul de is a track that I wrote with some friends on Jamulus and I've got it playing on another Mac in cycle. So as soon as we connect to this, we're just going to hear it blaring out. Hopefully I've turned the volume down. By the way, that's another thing. If I set the channel strip up right, I knocked the volume down by about four or eight dB. I don't remember. We'll find out together in a sec. So first of all, we need to go and press the connect button. I'll go via left until I find it again. Set connect, not connect, but disconnect. All right, it's playing this Mac. So I'll go back to the table. Silver add button, table, row three or three, available image, this Mac. Available image, microphone on second Mac. I'll press enter. And we're on a second Mac now. Look, I can turn this microphone down. And I'm coming out of a Mac down here to my right with a really horrible microphone. It's an old MacBook Air with a really horrible microphone. But all I did was I put the NetSend plugin on that Mac um, on an audio track, and that's what that's doing. I will now press the down arrow Available and press enter. This Mac. And I can get back to a better microphone. 
And that's the track. And lastly, down arrow again. Available image. Currently playing cul-de-sac. Available. Microphone. Back to that microphone. And there you can actually hear the difference between the audio coming across the network. By the way, that the other Mac is on wireless. It's not even connected to Ethernet. Both these two Macs, the one playing Coldesac and the one I'm talking to you on right now, are on Ethernet. This one, down to my right, is actually on wireless. And that is not a bad delay between units. Not at all. Right, let me hit disconnect on here, because this is very frustrating. Direct sender. Disconnect. Connect. Okay, goodness gracious, that microphone. Ugh. The old 2014 MacBook Airs had a horrible microphone. They got a lot better in, in the modern years, but ugh, dear. But anyway, it serves to show the demonstration of how NetSend could work for you and NetReceive. So I'm going to leave it right there. I hope that this makes some sense to you, that you find uses for this, because what you could now do, of course, is add audio plugins to this MIDI track with the NetSend on it. Now I've got it wrong. With NetReceive on it, I beg your pardon, you could add your reverbs or you could um, add, say, uh, what's it? Ambio Orbit from Sennheiser, and you could move it around in virtual space. Because up until now, it's been very, very difficult to get audio modified by MIDI plugins, um, or, you know, using MIDI to modify plugins, I should say. Because you can't add a MIDI plugin to an audio track. But with this method, built into logic that I wish I'd known about years ago, you certainly can. I hope this is useful. I hope you found it interesting. Thanks for listening, and I apologize for the waffle in the menu of the NetSend plugin. I just didn't realize there were that many options in there. Anyway, cheers. See you next time.